Officer Malik, meet Nazila Mazumzadeh. The Persian Canadian community call her the guardian angel, and anyone who's ever crossed her path will tell you the same. Wow, uh, I'm not following. Is this a new case you're assigning me? No, she's your culprit. She's the reason why your guy's walking free. Um, and I get it. I understand how you feel. I've reviewed the same cases uh, dating back over 40 years. It's different criminals, but always the same surety. She isn't related to any of the criminals that she releases. We'll have to save the full story for another day, but in the meantime, you're welcome to head down to archives and pull up the last 40 years of the Toronto's Guardian Angels files. She must be delirious if she thinks that people like him has a chance to rehabilitation. Has she ever stopped to think about the innocent ones? Those who live in the community? Did he really get the truth? Officer Malik, this isn't jury duty. Your opinion is irrelevant, so go grab those boxes so that you can confirm that she hasn't lost the case in 45 years. Maybe you'll change your opinion about her. I doubt that. Goodbye, Mr. Malik. Goodbye. Yeah, all her money goes towards feeding and housing the less fortunate. Yeah, get this. This lady, during the course of her life, she provided aid for more than 600 individuals. Most of them were kind of like convicted. Hey, on, on. No, no. You do know that uh, she provides them with shelter in her own home, right? What? No way. This woman should be crowned queen, but she certainly doesn't look like one. Yep, every night for decades. Sleeping among rapists, and no wonder her family disowned her. I wouldn't call being selfless a waste of time. I'm hopeful she'll teach you a massive lesson on forgiveness and compassion towards others.